Hi, Jake Middleton here again with CAD Micro Solutions. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about how to use SolidWorks Industrial Designer to make some primitive shapes, something like a pillow. So this was one of the requests from our customer and I thought I would uh, make a video so everyone else can kind of learn about it. So what I'm doing right here is I'm using the uh, freeform feature, which will basically input a primitive object into SolidWorks Industrial Designer. Primitive objects are things like basic cubes or basic circles. You can basically just go out and start to highlight the points you want, click on the arrow, and uh, drag that to the correct shape. You can use the uh, view cube again, similar to SolidWorks, to select the different orientations. So that way you can very easily click on uh, the different points, or rather box select them, and just sort of drag and stretch out to be the right shape. Now again, we're going for a pillow here, and this looks more kind of like a cube. We want to make it look more organic, like it's actually made out of cloth. So what we need to do is put in insert loops and subdivide surfaces. Basically all these do is they kind of refine the mesh a little bit more in the areas that we choose. So that way we can go and uh, make it look a little bit more organic and natural looking. It's really easy to do that. Simply double click on the uh, body and it'll expose the editing mode. Now all you need to do is click on any line or any point. And you can just use the arrows, the orange arrows here, to sort of drag them in or drag them out or up or down. So very, very easy. You can use a single selection tool to grab edges or points and kind of push them around a little bit so it doesn't look quite so mechanical. So it looks a little bit more organic. And this is really uh, one of the very powerful features in SolidWorks Industrial Designer in, is that it's just uh, a very simple tool to use to create these sort of shapes that would be very complicated in a mechanical design software. So there we have it. And with a single click, we can actually save this out into SolidWorks. So I'm going to export this as a step file and then open that right up inside of SOLIDWORKS. So I exported my step as a pillow.step uh, file. Just open up SOLIDWORKS and I'm gonna go ahead and open that pillow. Very, very easy to transfer data back and forth. And you can see right away that this uh, pillow in SOLIDWORKS looks like something uh, that would be very difficult to model in SOLIDWORKS itself, but in Industrial Designer, it was no problem at all. So let's just go slap on a quick fabric texture so we can uh, see what that looks like. I also like to turn my camera to perspective and turn ambient occlusion on. I find these just make it look a little bit better. And there we have it, a nice pillow inside of SolidWorks. I'm Jake Middleton, and thanks for watching.